Hi, this is Mike Cuddy, and I'm here to talk to you about my latest project. It's a Python project, and it's not a data science one like I've been doing almost every other post, I believe, with this, but it actually just uses Python and the MongoDB, actually, and it's called Inventory. And I basically did this project because I wanted to l work with a Mongo database a little bit better. I know I should be using it more in the mean stack, but I played around with the uh, Mongo database this past fall, in the fall of 2016, and with Python and I actually enjoyed doing it but at the time I, my workload at classes was getting really heavy so I basically stepped away so uh, I decided to come back to it and I eventually want to use it with Flask as my database and eventually from there move into working going back to using the mean stack well at least with Node Express and Mongo so this project that I have here not only uses a Mongo database but it also uses uh, bcrypt so I'll use that to basically crypt my passwords and everything like that. So this uh, project, I'll just start by actually showing it over here in the terminal. Uh, here's the welcome screen and everything like that. And it basically says like, yes, uh, do you have an account or no, I don't. If I say yes, I can put in uh, the password, I mean the username, then the password. Yeah, I should have hidden that there. And the menu options, I can use the program, help, or quit. And if I use program, this uh, inventory I forgot to mention basically looks at toilet paper levels throughout my love, uh, house. So I can add a uh, toilet paper document, update toilet paper levels. So I'll add one. So I'll say I'll do a main level bathroom three. And let's say we have 20 toilet paper rolls in there. It's pretty ridiculous. I guess it's a common bathroom that a lot of people use. And then go back to use program and check three and it was the main level and it's basically the amount of TP in the main level bathroom is 20 rolls and so I can go back and basically use program update toilet papers let's just say uh, again main level let's go down 10 it was heavily used and then three again and it will be three again it's 10 rolls so uh, it was basically a fairly easy uh, program to use here, and if I want to basically show greater than or less than, let's just do 5. Uh, let's do 10. And these are the bathrooms that have uh, 10 or less rolls in them, or less than 10 rolls, I mean. So that's basically the program right there, and I it wasn't that hard at all to make. And now I'll just show one more thing if I... Uh, do too, no, I don't have account. I have to enter the admin password, and if I don't, then the password is wrong, and it basically kicks me out of the program. So if I wanted to add a new user, I'd have to enter in the admin password. So other than that, let's, if you look at some of the code here, it has this main function right here that's called down here, and that's called a program, and I basically create a lot of objects here. And it goes through creating the hash password, log uh, username, and it, it, all this stuff right here is basically creating the account. And if it basically, if it turns out that the account was false, like I said, it calls this intruder thing where it kicks you out of the program, which I showed. But if not, it goes into menu.option. And here's another class. And it basically c calls these functions. And then all throughout here, the whole program, program like here's the Mongo database I have set up all different uh, methods for it and how to run and how it functions this program one is kinda like the main this uh, method I admit is way too long I should have broken it up so and that was one thing I just needed validation lines here but that won't be hard to add so this is a part of the program that basically shows all the information on the screen but everything, every aspect of this program is basically has a different class in it that'll basically do it. Here's the uh, class to be, uh, use bcrypt to encrypt my password. And that's the admin password. I know I shouldn't be here. I didn't focus on security. I actually, with all my coding experience for the last past, what, two, two and a half years that I've been really teaching myself how to code in my classes, I've never actually done anything with security. And I will actually be taking a class in that, intro, intro level class, uh, probably over the summer. So that is right here that I'll encrypt the password then my login class it basically creates a user and everything like that and I just kept all this code right here because this actually this code is basically the same 
have the same purpose as this method right up here, but look at how short this one is. And I wrote this first and ended up realizing that I can write it much faster if I wrote it like this. So it's a lot of lines of code saved right between these two. So I decided to keep this as an example for myself for future reference. And again, here's the menu, like the welcoming screen that we saw. So this was the first program that I actually the main thing, I usually have all these functions within my main file that it goes from one function to the next function, next function. But this one I basically, for the most part, except for the main and intruder, everything is called by an object calling its methods. And so this one right here, this call sends you right into the whole program and starts running it and everything like that. So it goes to menu.option. So the menu, it will go here. And then by choosing what you want to do is where it's going to go to the program or support. And uh, one place, one class I didn't show is the support. This just shows the quit thing and the help. It talks a little bit about the purpose of this project. And so finally, I guess I'll say that the reason why I made this project is because of the fact that I have a logistics background, supply chain, and in the Marine Corps, I did a lot of stuff with the inventory. And when I worked for the government, I did a lot of stuff with the inventory as well. And I think that making a basic inventory system is a really good way to make a program that may be worthwhile. I don't think my wife and I will ever use this program in our house, uh, highly doubtful. But one of my uh, friends at school mentioned that I, maybe I should do something with Amazon where we do use it. When the toilet paper rolls drop below like three toilet paper rolls, Amazon, it would automatically send an order to Amazon to order some more. So that's basically it for this uh, program, and I hope you enjoyed watching this video. Take care.